welcome back to my channel today's topic is earth is not your school before I expand on that this is gonna be a very short message because I've spoken about some of the deceptions about reincarnation and heaven and hell in my other videos reincarnation scam that has been sold to the to the conscious community the ones who believe because we know religious people most of the religious people do not believe in reincarnation so you give them heaven and hell either you do good and go to heaven or do bad and go to hell which doesn't exist both don't exist nobody as i explained in my other videos go to heaven or to hell because they knew they had to sell the heaven and hell phenomena to the religious people they had to think of something for the conscious community for those that are waking up and i also mentioned that in in my other videos that's where the reincarnation scam comes in in my video uh, where I talk about the 507 frequency the reincarnation scam where they just uh, where they wipe out our memories through the moon magic through their moon center I have been there at the moon center last year where I have woken up some of the people to the lies of that and I was heavily attacked and divinely uh, um, restored or resurrected so they wipe out our memories and in the name of earth is your school you are sent back with without any memory most of the time it's by divine intervention that most of us or some of us are sitting with memories our ancestral memories our divine memories etc but most people do not understand and they do not know what to make out of the memories they still have right now because of the lies that have been sold to them religiously that if they do good if they receive Jesus Christ as the Savior they will go to heaven leave earth and if they do bad they will go to hell leaving earth right and who is left the nefarious the criminals the nefarious imposters the robbers who have stolen the throne from my mother or from from my uh, from my divine mothers and from me in the previous lifetimes so they had to sell these lies to the people because they know the religious people in this age of Aquarius people will start waking up and we have already woken up and people are still waking up so they had to make sure to to lay a trap for every community or every practice and lies and deception is everywhere do not think because you are a conscious being that you are not affected by the lies and deception and illusions of these nefarious beings so no one is going to heaven and no one is going to hell except if you know where you are coming from from the galaxies and from the cosmos or from the universes then you are welcome to leave this earth this is where I come in with the answer for all of you for all of you who say that earth is your school as uh, as the brainwashing has happened through the teachings of the nefarious ones or the books of the nefarious ones earth is home to the indigenous original people this earth belongs to the mother and her daughters as I explained to the in the other videos this earth belongs to people and they it is their home so you cannot come and establish your business of, uh, of a so-called school where souls come to ascend to go back to where they are coming from to come and learn lessons as I asked in one of the other videos based on whose books whose teachings whose laws 
are you learning those lessons? And according to whose laws are you graduating so you can ascend from the earth where you are apparently learning your lessons, your life lessons, but you are still in the same cycle, in the same cycles of reincarnation, same cycles of the same mistakes that you are making lifetime in and lifetime out. And the reason why these beings have been selling this notion of uh, uh, the earth being a school is because they do not want people to wake up to the truth of the ownership of this earth. This earth belongs to me, my mother, my divine, my earth mother, that they have taken captive for hundreds of years after they have stolen the throne from us. So, the people who are signing up to come into this earth, they are taking an oath to come tell the earthlings about the truth of the ownership of this earth. And all they do is because they, when they come in, their memories are wiped out. So what they believe is, first, most of us are being trapped through religion, Christianity, Buddhist, Islam, whatever practice, uh, outside religion, mostly uh, uh, witchcraft, etc. And we forget why we came here f into this air for or reincarnated into this air for, or we forget to follow the instructions of our ancestors that is written in our DNA. The information that we need to get from if we tap into our cells, into our memories, into our, our DNA. Now, when you come here as a divine being, for example, I'm, I'm just speaking about for the divine beings now, most of the others that have been uh, going through the same cycle, 10,000 or 10 cycles of 100 years, for example, or 60 years, 50 years, depending on how many years they've been living in or they've been alive in the previous cycle or lifetime. They live those cycles over and over. They never ascend, they never go, as, they never escape this realm or this, the illusion and this deception and the lies of the nefarious ones. So they are just being pushed back. Some of them, as soon as they die, they are being pushed back into a specific family, wherever the, the, the enemies or the nefarious ones want to work out their agenda or further their agenda. So I've explained to you, reincarnation is a scam. It's a scam where uh, mother and father of the same bloodline, for example, or daughter and mother, or father and daughter of, of the same bloodline are being pushed back into the uh, in a different family, right? And then, because you don't know each other, but you recognize each other by blood, you are being attracted uh, to each other by blood. And here, contamination and incestful relationships happen under this disguise of reincarnation. You are here to learn a lesson. The lies of, the, of earth being a school. Now I explain to you and I am emphasizing this truth to you again. Earth is nobody's school. The ones who believe they have come from the galaxies or from the constellations outside earth or the universes. When you sign that contract or that oath to come and help the earthlings, the original people, the indigenous people the mother of the throne. Once you are here, your memory is wiped out, so you fall in the same traps of the previous lifetimes. And then you become the property of these nefarious beings, so they can do with you whatever they want. They can recycle you over and over and over. But we said this is, an age, this is the age of Aquarius and the information, the intel within, and also from the books that we find, different YouTubers, and all that information that is out here in the world right now. It's very important that you discern the information that you are receiving and, and not just follow everything blindly. All books do not have all truths. All YouTubers do not have all truths. We must put together all pieces from every person or every book that we are reading 
and with the guidance of the divine mind with the most highs we find our truths the ultimate truth now earth not being your school is this and i am declaring this as the heiress and the queen of this earth those of you i've explained to you um, in my video where i talk about names the importance of names and how my ancestors, my divine team and my almighty ones have explained to me how the names of people around me, the names of the family members, both on my father's and mother's side, how they are telling the story of earth, our uh, uh, enslavement and how the throne was stolen. I will probably uh, uh, tell the whole story starting from the firstborn of my grandmother and her cousins, etc., the names, as I explained that. So it's very important to know, if, F, if you regard F as your school, you will just come and do the same mistakes according to whoever it is, apparently, your master's books and laws and test, and then you will go, you will die, be recycled through the moon magic and through the moon tools and devices, and come back and do the same thing over and over and over. I mean, 3,600 years, you cannot be learning same thing over and over and over because there's nothing new under the sun. 3,600 years of the age of Pisces, you are still lear learning the same nonsense lessons which haven't helped this earth at all and the people of the earth at all. So remember this, earth belongs to a group of people, the original people. And the throne also belongs to the original people of this earth, not to the people that are running the reincarnation scams and telling you that, the, that this earth is, this, is your school. Because if you believe that earth is your school, you will do nothing. You will only learn what you think, what you think under the control and mind, mind control and mani manipulation of these nefarious beings. You will only learn what you think is best for you. And then go back, die, and reincarnate again because you are going nowhere. And the reason they are sending people to hell and heaven is because they still want to be in charge of this earth. But I've said in this lifetime and age of Aquarius, they are not having this earth again. So if you believe earth is your school, please get ready and go back home where you come from. Get ready to go back home. One of my uncle's name means follow one another out follow each other out sao e kudu sao e gu that means you must follow each other if you think this earth is your school because for us it is not a school for us it is home and we want our home back we want our throne back we want our families back so understand and know this those of you who regard this home this home that belongs to us, this earth that belongs to us as your school, you must go and create another school somewhere else because earth belongs to us. And because of the judgment that is coming, the nefarious ones will not escape the judgment that is coming. You are being tagged along, lied to, deceived in all cultures, in all religious groups or practices, whether it is in the conscious community or religious community, they are all lies and deception and illusions of the nefarious ones because they have to trap people to keep recycling them here on this earth under the disguise of you are learning lessons, it is a school and it's reincarnation, it is fine, it's reincarnation, no. Those of you who need to go back to your planet or to your galaxies, please get ready to go back. That's if you remember who you are and where you come from. I remember the galaxy of my fathers that have my support, that have my back. The ones who are guiding me and helping me to win this war against the nefarious ones. So please, if you think Earth is your school, get ready to leave because you will not treat your, a school or something that belongs to somebody else as fairly as you would if it were your own, if you were the owner of that specific thing or place. And because Earth is my home, it is my throne, I make sure this lifetime that I get my Earth back. 
and those who want to follow out or they want to go home to their galaxies of planets, they are welcome to leave, depending on when and how they will leave, if they are even allowed to, because they have messed up so much that we are just ready, the divine is just ready to destroy them. The time is very little at this moment, very, very little. We have given these people, the airflings, so much time to wake up and to start doing the right thing towards the mother of the throne of this earth, towards the true owner and the two heirs of this age of Aquarius. And they haven't done that yet. So please leave our planet, my earth, that you regard as a school and go create your school somewhere else. If you believe that you can still go back to your galaxies or to your planets, you can go create your schools there. But Earth needs to be restored back so that if there is ever a intergalactic school, it must happen under righteous and just and fair rules and laws, guidance, spiritual both, spiritual, physical, mental, financial or social. But as it is at this moment, you have made, the nefarious ones have made my home, my, father, my mother's home, the den of robbers, den of murderers, a den of lies and dis, uh, confusion and, and uh, uh, illusions and deceptions. Earth is my home and I'm here to restore my home, my throne and my mother's throne with the help of my divine, with the galactic family, with the family of the divine, that, that, the family that is in divine covenant with the father and the mother, the father and the mother presence here on earth, the divine father and the divine mother presence here on earth. So please stop thinking and believing that earth is your school. It is not. I tell you now, earth is my home. It is the home of my mother that cannot roam, that cannot live on this earth, on her earth, freely. She has been in hiding. She has been under persecution. Her children, her womb, our wombs and our children, our bloodlines have been in persecution. Lifetime in and lifetime out. And you are calling this place a school, our home a school. You must stop calling earth your school because it is not your school. It is my home. It is the home and throne of my mother. It is the home and throne of Isis, Audrey and Zeralda, Hatshepsut, Gnosis. So know this. You are welcome to leave, as we said, through the name of my uncle, Sao Eikudu. Sao Eiku. And those who are willing to accept us as the owners of this earth, you are welcome. You will be welcome to live with us, but on our terms, on the terms of, the, of, of, of our divine covenant, the covenant between the heavens and the earth. But no one is going to hell. No one is going to heaven, except if you want to go back to the galaxy you come from. And depending on how much you messed up here on this earth through your oath that you have made to your most highs, we don't know whether they will receive you back on their galaxy because you messed up their name, their reputation. So I don't know whether they will accept you back. But those who will and who want to stay here on earth, you have and you will do it on our terms. And whether you like it or not, you will bow. I've said it before. You will bow now or you will bow later. But this home, this earth home, Mother Kai, Planet Kai is not your school. It is our home. And it is our throne, my throne and my mother's and our, her daughter's throne and her chosen ones. Or the men that are being chosen because the men are being chosen from the galactic family. And that's those are the men who have deceived and betrayed us. And that's how our throne fell in the hands of the nefarious ones. But this time it is not going to happen. So please go and create your own schools on other planets. But leave Earth now. I believe this is a very clear message. And to make things worse, the indigenous people, the natives, the original, are an outcast on their own earth. They are out in the wild, in the villages, living on meat, for example, because they know nothing else. For survival, they, they have to eat meat, not because they want to, because it's against nature to eat flesh, but because they don't have a choice. They started eating for survival. They started eating meat. 
on their own earth, their home that has been turned into den of murderers, den of robbers by these imposters, the nefarious beings. So please leave my earth. You have your last chance to repent, to give back what belongs to me and my mothers, and to free my people. I tell you, and I told you, every move you make is bringing you closer to your destruction, annihilation, and your removal from the face of this earth. So, so a good to follow each other out of this planet. If you don't think earth is worthy to be restored back to her rightful owners, follow each other out of this planet. We do not force anyone. We do not mind control, mind manipulate people to vote for us, to stay, uh, vote for us to get the throne. No, I fight all by myself with the help of my divine team. I do not lobby or go around asking people to believe in my cause for the throne or for the throne of the earth for mothers or for my eternal mother of the throne. I don't go around doing that. And people who are talking about, I am the mother, I am the daughter, please stop that. You do not know what is at stake right here. You do not understand. You do not know even who you are. That's why you will go around claiming that which you are not. Do not claim that you are my mother because I know how mother and daughter essence and reincarnation works in terms of redeeming our earth. We birth one another. We come through one another. The same thing as my Christ essence said in the past lifetime, my father and I are one. That's the same thing I'm saying. My mother and I are one. We are one. There is no one outside me that is my mother and there is no one outside me that is my mother's daughter. I am the only representative right now for the throne of this earth. We are one. And not even my mother has the say like in who will be saved and who will be, who will be destroyed. No, I have all the authority. I have all the authority for I am the throne of grace in this age of Aquarius. That's why grace has come for those who want to repent, for those who want to do things the right way, for those who want to acknowledge the true ownership or the true owners of this earth dependence and those who want to walk away from their wickedness or their malicious practices and ways. So understand this, your school business have been cancelled as this message has gone out now. You will not deceive nefarious ones, you will not deceive people with earth being a school. This is home to me and home to my mother of the eternal throne. This is home to us and our original and indigenous people. The reason why you are creating robots and creating things, advancing in technology, is because you want to substitute the original, the indigenous people, with those robots and those technological devices. Because you are anti-nature, you are against nature, you are against earth. So go find your own earth somewhere else, your own heaven or your own place somewhere else outside this planet because you are not getting it this lifetime that is my sovereign and divine oath and earth oath you will not get earth this time